السلام علیکم پیارے دوستوں اور بچوں میرے چینل پہ آپ کا ویلکم ہے حضرت ابر علیہ السلام نمر نمرون کون تھا اور اس کی موت کی وجہ کیا ہوئی کیسے حضرت ابر علیہ السلام نے اسے سبق سکھایا ایک مچھر سے مارا گیا نمرود تو چلیے شروع کرتے ہیں پیارے بچوں یہ سٹوری انگلش میں ہے اگر آپ کو اچھی لگے تو میرے چینل کو سبسکرائب کریں لائک کریں اور ویڈیو کو شیئر کریں چلیے شروع کرتے ہیں A long time ago, there was a cruel and an arrogant king named Nimrod, who lived among the people of Babylon. He then received the news about the future. One day, he commanded all of the predictors to gather at his palace and ask them about his future ruling. predictors were afraid to say the truth, but they also knew that they can't hide anything from the king because he will get furious and will punish them if he finds out. Azur was frightened. He stepped forward and said, Your Majesty, but this won't ever happen, but the prediction had showed that very soon a child will be born and he will destroy your kingdom. Then he will come and bring new teaching with him. By then, everyone will join and follow him. Nimrod became angry and roared with rage. He was scared to lose his power, so then he commanded to kill every newborn baby boy. Waraka was pregnant and stayed in her house because she was afraid of the Nimrod spies. She made sure no one knew about her pregnancy. The time to deliver her child eventually came. Secretly, she fled out of the city and delivered her child, Abraham, in a cave. For days, Abraham's mother secretly brought over food and drinks for him. She also played with him and taught him about etiquette and life. During the night, she would place a big rock in front of the cave before she came home. When Abraham turned seven, his mother brought him back to the city. Abraham's father had then passed away. Because of that, his uncle, Azar, took over the responsibility to take care of Abraham. Abraham was just like his father, worshipping one god. But Azar used to worship idols. Sometimes he brought Abraham with him to the house of the idols. The people of Babylon felt that every idol is a god they can help them. In return, they would bring foods and worthy presents with them so that their problems could be solved by the idols. Abraham asked his uncle, Why do you worship something that is created by you? What can the idols do for you? Azar didn't have a very good answer to his nephew's question. He said with fear, Abraham, our forefathers and I have been worshipping these idols for years. You should know that if you want to worship other gods apart from these idols, I 
won't get angry and punish you. Yet, Abraham never stopped believing in one God. It was a festival day. Everyone went up to a mountain out of the city for the celebration. Instead of joining the party, Abraham made his way to the idol house. With anger, he yelled to the idols, Why aren't you saying anything? Why aren't you protecting the people? The idols didn't answer anything. Abraham wanted the people of Babylon to realize and understand who they needed to worship. Abraham then took an axe and broke all of the idols except for the biggest one. He placed the axe in the hands of the big man. The people of Babylon returned back to the city after the celebration. When they saw the idols broken, they captured Abraham and brought him to Nimrod. One of the men said, Your Majesty, I believe that he is the one who broke the idols. We know that he has something against our idols. Today, he also stayed in the city while all of us were out of the city celebrating the festival. Abraham said, There is an axe in the hands of the biggest idol. Maybe he is the one who broke the rest of the idols. Everyone knew that the idols couldn't talk or even move. They knew Abraham was right, but they still insisted on executing Abraham for his lies by Nimrod. Nimrod then commanded to throw Abraham in the fire so that no one can ever disrespect the idols again. The big fire lit it. The flames were so huge that no one dared to get nearer to it. The soldiers prepared a big catapult away from the firewood and then placed Abraham inside it. Nimrod sat at the top of the high tower to watch the execution of Abraham. The people were getting ready to watch the execution too. Abraham was calm sitting in the catapult. He was ready to be thrown in the huge flame fire. He slowly closed his eyes and said, My one and only God, I put my trust in you by breaking those idols. Now, I only reach out to you to save me from Nimrod's flaming fire. Abraham was flung into the big fire. The people cheered. Suddenly, something strange happened. With God's will, the big fire changed into a garden full of blossom flowers. Everyone stopped cheering. They were shocked when they saw Abraham sitting calmly in his rose garden. He looked healthy and calm. Nimrod's eyes became wide open. As he was trying to hide away his anger, he said to Azar, Look at how wealthy and precious Abraham is in his God's presence. The people saw how merciful Abraham's God is. 